Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Planet Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Twin! Yo. Hi. What's <laughs> good? Welcome back to Jamaica. And beer things. And it's a friend, things and such. So before we get into all the fun things that are going on in the world, the first thing I have on this is um, just a smarlet because everybody's talking about it. And... <sighs> I can't believe my boy going out like this, man. Listen, I briefly touched on it on the last episode. I said I didn't look into it too much. Mm -hmm. And this was when the speculation was that, you know, he faked it. That was the, at the time that I recorded it, that was a speculation. Yeah. yeah. That it was fake. Now, story come out, say he actually hired people to jump him. Their things. Like, okay, so I feel like you know more about this than I do. Me, you know, sir. You know more than me. You know more than uh, you me. Know, I don't know nothing. <laughs> so I weird. just know, remember in the beginning, he was saying that two white men mm-hmm. with the, with the Maga hat. them fuckery hat there, mm-hmm. basically, they were the ones that jumped him on thing, and he had gotten letters days mm-hmm. before, like threatening whatever, whatever. All right, that was the story. Then I must say, he will not give up his phone. Yeah, with all the stuff and rare, yeah. rare, so people start get kind of so it, sure. like why you know I give up the phone kind of thing and you know really they just basically saying now that that it was like two actors I guess that had worked on Empire before oh. some bullshit like that and they he paid them and Ray Ray because he was getting written off the show and bare things me personally and then I think I just read that they um write him off the show. Yeah, right. Which I don't. Yeah, they just said they, they charge him with a felony, with felony disorderly oh, conduct. Shit. That's what Twitter's saying. Chicago police was charged for allegedly filing a false police report. Remember us? Yeah, because it, it's a crime to like <laughs> correct. Falsely. So that's making him look crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't. My thing with it is like you. I don't know. Same. I don't know. I don't trust these police. Nor do I trust people much. However. I don't want to believe that this man did this. Like, don't, don't be dumb. Like, you legit are at a nice, like, you know, you in your career, you're doing smooth. You're good right now. Like, As fuck. people know you, like, you doing your own thing, not just to show you perform. You're doing yes. all these things. Like, why go and fuck that up by lying about what? Like, how, that's why I don't, I kind of, I would really have to understand what the hell. Yes. Because the fuck, so until then, until I know what the fuck going on, I'm just like, I, I don't think anything. Exactly. My thing about that is, though, like, as a black gay man. Facts. Why would you lie about being attacked for being a black gay, gay man? Right. Because it's bad enough that we get attacked for being black, we get attacked for being gay. To get attacked for being black and gay, that's a whole nother statistic in itself. So that then I feel like give, gives room for people to question black queer people who come out and say that they've been attacked because then they're like, oh, you pull, you're pulling a Jesse Smollett now. You, this is a true. I, I see it though. You know how the you, you, you're pulling a Jesse? You know, you know that's going to be <laughs> that a hashtag. That is so like, messed up. Like yeah. how they did the Bow Wow Challenge and all that shit. Like true. it's going to be one of those things where somebody comes out and says, I was attacked. Let's say now some racist person or some bigot out there decides I'm going to just go around and just hang a bunch of gay black people. Nobody's going to believe it because, oh, really? You chose the same storyline? Like, you really? Like, right. Exactly. So that's why I don't want to believe that it's true because I'm pretty sure he has enough sense to think. I'm going to say, I'm, I know I'm biased. I know I'm biased yeah, because so. he's Me a too. black gay man. I will protect gay men at all costs because, like, I love them. Especially like, black gay men. You feel what I'm saying? So... I'm going to really hope that he's not being... Like, I don't see why you would... Why? Yeah, why? Like, what logical reason does it make sense? Because if he really did make that shit up, he in trouble. Yeah. Like, his whole... Bruh. He made himself look real crazy, if that is so. But, you know... Exactly. I don't believe right now. I'm just... Right now, I'm holding off. I need all the facts. Everybody mm-hmm. like to hear one thing and they're gone with it. Mm-hmm. They don't know. They call him all types of names. They're saying all these things. But do you actually know what the fuck going on? Exactly. You don't know. So, me, I'm just holding my peace. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. Like, same thing. Like I said on the last episode, I'm not speaking on nothing because I wasn't there. Something exactly. Me up. I was not there. Exactly. <laughs> me never did a fist or nothing. 
I wasn't exactly. in messages. I don't know what's going on. And then some people was trying to say, I forgot that part. Yeah, they was trying to make jokes on Twitter, basically saying that it was a, ten, a Tinder hookup gone wrong. Yeah, fuck her, Twitter. I was like, it had to be a like, gay man. Jacked? I was like, a gay man, so Tinder, huh? Okay. Yeah, all right. So it had to be something yeah. sexually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, better. That, I, you know. Yeah. I, a lot of people have opinions. I am one of those people that I'm just like, I just want to see where this goes. Yep. I want to see because the police has a job. Like, they have to figure out whether this happened or not. But it's very funny because you have the people that are actually in Chicago that have dealt with these police before. And people are like, all of a sudden, I believe the police out here. Because mm. apparently the police is out in Chicago is corrupt or whatever. Mm. So they're saying this is funny that y'all believe in police over this black man right now. But then you have the people who are like, well, shit ain't adding up. A lot of people been saying, even like down to like some stars and stuff, you know, posted and like, like oh, it, the story don't add up, blah, 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 blah. I'm just looking at this motherfucker like, I really I hope, know. you better hope and pray this was a damn lie and it didn't happen to this man for real. Because y'all gonna look real fucked up if yo. it really did. That's why I don't want to say shit because Hold I it. don't understand why he would lie about that. Mm -hmm. So, but you don't know what's going on with people's heads. So I don't want to be sitting here and be like, oh, fuck that. Why he fucking lying? Right. Like, he's stupid, he dumb. Like a lot of y'all sound stupid saying it because y'all don't know what happened. Like they was there. Exactly. Like, like you don't know this man from a can of paint. You don't know a can of paint. Yeah. You don't know what happened. You don't. You uh, you rather me see a hole in the wall? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Speaking. I, you don't mind. know. Oh Jesus. You don't know him. You don't know what's going on. So just because a story comes out that says, oh, he didn't want to turn over his phone, mm -hmm. so it's suspicious. Okay, it's suspicious. The man got contacts. The man. It's like does. it's like when um, what's his name had beat up what's her face, and nobody didn't believe it until that fucking mm -hmm. picture popped out. Y'all know who mm -hmm. I'm talking about. That picture popped. They was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit. Y'all thought she was lying though, or y'all thought the story was a whatever. Cause mm -hmm. remember the picture didn't drop to like the next day. You remember? Yeah. It was delayed a bit. Everybody was like, he wouldn't do that. Well, you saw it. Look what happened. You never. Y'all always think this until y'all get that. It's like the same thing the other day with Bow Wow and the girl. Yeah. I got into so many little mini arguments with people because they was like, oh, she messed him up. Da -da 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 -da. When you look part of it, his little, his little aggravating ass. Aggravating that girl, grabbed her arm, snapped, snatched stuff out her hand. She, I would have cleaned him up in that elevator. She waited mad long. I would have fucked his little ass up in there. in there. Yeah, she's smart and she clawed his ass the frig up. What? I mean, I wasn't right. Watch doors. me. But I just press emerge, man. That shit stopped me. I'm up there. Probably the 23rd flow. Me, I'm up there. I have biased opinions because I, I, I have a thing for Bow. Well, sorry. When I was a child, I had a thing for Bow. I don't look at me like this. Don't do it. So, but no, domestic violence. Romeo, Romeo was cuter. Go ahead. I ain't gonna hold you up, girl. <laughs> he was younger than me, though, so I was like, mm. that's the. Is, that the does that mean he was cuter? I never looked at him like that because he was younger than me. Romeo is a better looking you for Bobo. Long time. You're entitled to your opinion. You think Bella has a better looking face uh, than Romeo? So you wild. Anyways, on some more uh, celebrity ish things. She's such a dog. Uh, you see when the truth, you see when the truth, I bite people. Uh, <laughs> so, so you see the picture the other day with Disha Ray was on Dai Dai? No? The pom pom one? Yeah. Pineapple for the pom pom? Yeah. Now. Why are your people so disgusting? I don't know either, but I like the picture. Of course you do. Because. It shows something that you don't see often. Mm -hmm. Two prominent Jamaican figures. You're correct. Wrap up. <laughs> now, I don't know if they're in things or if they in things or if they just, you know, want nah. to be in things. The same thing like Shensi and Or Day, shocking factor. Like want to be in things. So same thing like the other day when Shensia posted something about walking into the LGB community or something, something. And that was a look with body. Yeah, the look with body man. Yeah. And everybody was like, what? I was like, yes, hold. Dumb and ready to hate? Ready. Jesus. No, I'm not Pitchforks lie. up. No shame. I went through her comments and everybody with a um <laughs> with a heart eyes or whatever that was Jamaican. You follow all of them? Follow, 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 follow. As follow, you follow, should. Follow, follow. Come on, babies. <laughs> I don't have no fucking shame. I will go through that shit. Everybody here says I'm some baby cheating on me. I'm following your ass too. What's up? Come listen to the podcast. I'm dead. But um, <laughs> but no, Shensia be posting as fuck. Shensia be posting mad like 
advocate type shit. Like, not even advocate, like yeah, ally. Yeah, just basically. ally, yeah. Because even between, like, for Pride last June, she had, like, the rainbow shoes or whatever with the shoelaces, and the other day she had the rainbow here. And I'm here for, like, subtle things like that because you know the climate. You know the type of people that are listening to Shensia because she's sitting here talking about she had teeth, y'all, man, and all them something there. A lot of those girls are ignorant. They, they're not into the homosexual thing. Big facts. So, you know, little sneak something in there. I'm okay with that. You don't need to be blatantly out. Like, I support gay people. I'm here for all of them. But love, like, no, you don't need to do all of that. Just don't spread hate, and that's really all I'm here for. Big like, facts. Just don't spread hate. But like you said, there was a lot of people in the comments with their fuckery talking about burn out and this, that, and the next, and fire and all. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Somebody else, some people come in and talk about, so what does LGB stand for? Look good body. Same way, so let's get the bag. Somebody put LGB, LGTB. I said, um, what? What do I understand for? Beer and then they saw the letter. I said, okay, I'm going to know the alphabet, though. But, um. Ass. <laughs> but I'm here for it. She want to play with people. I mean, same thing, like I said, with Disha and Dai Dai. Like, publicity, mm-hmm. possibly. But we're going to start a conversation and look at opera. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But. Me from long time, my team said, you know, the, me said, the other day though, it said, Disha give me kind of little vibes. Like she wants to be little, little, little weirds and things. Mm. You know, she might just kind of tomboyish, but she just, you know, all right, man, I'm going to watch her. And that guy be saying some gay ass shit. All right. Like all she, the time. She mm. be saying some gay shit. So that guy is the next one. But, you know, if them there, them there, I'm just. Actual just facts, you know. For the entertainment factor. Heard that. I'm just trying to steal people followers. That's that's it. I you hate know? you. Just come I hate over. you. I want to steal get, people followers. I'm get, dead. Get a little education while you're at it. Some entertainment, etc. So whatever. Um, I'm breezing through again. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you call it? Um, about Jesse. Did you see about um, what is it? Middle school or some 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 student? Had on a shirt that says, why be racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic when you could just be quiet? And they got in trouble at school for that? Your face right now? <laughs> why? Because, you know, no. So why? Apparently one of the teachers felt offended by the shirt. Let's suck it. Look. I could mean it. Listen, who's going to take my shirt off me? Well, they make them have to cover up the shirt, the shirt. What part of the shirt had to be covered up? It's, what did the shirt say? Why be racist? Hold on. Why be racist? All words that we've learned in school. Okay, go ahead. Sexist. That as well. Homophobic. That as well. Transphobic. That as well. Well, you could just be quiet. All of that as well. So all the words that we actually use in school on a daily, in this day and age, they're on a shirt and I can't wear the shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck? There's no curse words in it. No. There's no, there's no profanity there. No. Like at all, there's no profanity there. There's no, there's no attack. It's just like girl, people just want the right to be like assholes. I guess like look, freedom of speech and all these things, right? I just hope so. When I see somebody with that damn hat, if I want to knock them upside their oh damn head gosh. and knock that shit off their head, <laughs> then that's just what it is. That's what I saw today. Um, they didn't knock it. Like yeah, a boy, I guess a little fifteen year old boy walked into a van store or something to buy some sneakers and I guess the guy that worked at the store was like, F you or get the F out. His mom came back tripping and whatever. Get your, his mother? Yeah, get your last F out my damn store with that hat on. I'll tell you, get out too. So then, his mother came back and said what exactly? It was my son. You know how they be. My son is disrespected and Ray Ray bitch. You you ain't rating this little nigga right, so why don't y'all get the fuck out? And that means you got the same... Get the fuck out. The fact that she thought it was okay for him to walk around with that hat on and that... I think any parent would allow their kid to wear that outside does not care about their kid. That could really get your kid head neck chopped, yo. Fucked up. (laughs) In this day? Fucked up. Anybody see that shit in the wrong place at the wrong time? That nigga head get knocked the fuck off with no problem. You don't know? I don't. I don't. Because I'm thinking about what, what, what... where because some places you can get away with it. those that place is probably like a lot of them a lot of them is that that's what I'm you know thinking. what i'm saying but you go to the wrong place with that boy and it's funny you say that because i've been um tormenting my niece's life right 
and she's living in a predominantly white city and mm-hmm. we're frightened by it. like <laughs> like it's stress filled. I'm gonna say it's stress filled. We follow up on Instagram. Instagram. And the amount of white people I'm gonna say on Instagram. It, I'm gonna text her and say, yo, you're giving me anxiety right now. Like, the of white people on your page is giving me anxiety. Let's can we say we I am not racist. I'm not racist either. But I I I is the only uh, black person on her page. But I will say I'm probably a bit more racist than Janae. I'm not racist. I just, you know, I know that White people aren't for black people. That part. I mean, you know what it is? It's not that I'm racist either. I just, some things that... Self-preservation. Yes, yeah, some things that white people do, I just can't get with. And it makes me just, I just stay away. Like, and y'all make me nervous. That's y'all hard. think, y'all think, y'all nervous to us? Y'all make me very nervous. I can't even lie. Like, if any white people listen to this, like... No shade, no nothing. Like, I'm cool. Like, you know, whatever. But yeah, no. Like, I go into an elevator. I, I got to tell this, right? Mm-hmm. So, when I'm at work and I go into the elevator and I see the <laughs> elevator come in and I see, like, three or more, I'm not going in there. Clutch your bag. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I don't feel safe. The way, they think it's a joke. The way they don't feel safe, I, don't feel, I feel more, like, inclined for, life some, for something to happen. Yeah. Effing with y'all. Yeah. And y'all effing with me. Yeah. Especially in today's um, oh, nah. you know, good, society and things. I've always felt conscious of mm-hmm. white people in the room and Fact. where I am as far as... Yeah, placement. Yeah, majority yeah. and stuff like that. And Fact. like I am one of those people, like, I'm in a room, I don't care how light skin you want to call me, bitch, I'm black at the end of the day. I walk into a room and if I don't spot another colored folk, I start feeling immediately <laughs> uncomfortable. No. I will go find this little colored folk and go stand by two Me, feet away. I'll be like, oh shit, hey, buddy. And then I'll be like, we got any, I got any mommies or any poppies in here because I'm going to them next. Exactly. I'm not playing. And I'll find me an Asian person. Yeah, I'm not about to have me in a room with like 30 people and I'm the only black one in there. I'm out. I swear to you, I'm out. Listen, this is not the place for me. Yeah, I spook me. I'm all for diversity, but I will not be your yeah, No, you know nothing. You know, I don't date y'all though. Y'all know that. She has a white boyfriend. Anyways, so... Who is my boyfriend? My niece. But, okay. So let me tell you how the conversation Hold started. Hold on. What kind of white boyfriend? White. No, no, no. We talking like Poindexter White. We talking about um homeboy... Uh, what's his name from Step Up and Magic Mike? What's his name? Oh. Tatum. Shannon. Yeah, Channing mm-hmm. White. We talking Eminem White. He's... Oh, yeah. He's more like Channing Tatum. He's cute. He's tall. Okay. She's short. But little girls like that. Yeah. But they're Christian. They're very Christian. They met in church. Up. Hold up. So he... Okay. Yeah, they are... Apparently, he makes her feel very comfortable with her beauty. I'll they... say this. I don't mind, like, interracial couples. That's your thing. That's your thing. Next. Yeah, I don't mind just it either. Like, that's your thing. Like, that's It's y'all. just not for me. That's your shit. Like, whatever. I, 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 just I'm me. one I'm of not, them. I'm not down with the squirrel, so I'm I, I was about to say, I'm one of them that believe in preserving my race. I don't think about it like that when I go out into the world, but I'm just It's not, just a no. Really. I'm not... It's not I, my type. It's just a no. Like, some straight people, they be like, you know, gay people, they like same sex. It's not my type. It's not my type. I just yeah, and it's not like preference. a oh I don't like you but I like you. No, no, no. It'll like, never be that. It's yeah. never gonna be I don't like white people but I like you. No, yeah, no. It is never gonna be that. Like, don't y'all worry cool. About it. I can't see myself having sex with y'all. So no oh, that's a that, honey. That's a no. Like my that's thing is, a no. is I could probably see myself like entertaining. <laughs> you but pick me, son? Yeah, don't play with me. Don't don't, don't play with me. Listen, don't play with me. I like sushi, but certain things I'm just not into. Don't even play with me. I. Not even the type no. of games that I like to play. No offense to anybody that's white that's listening Facts. to this. Facts, like nobody, just, yeah. I, you know, I, mm, like, like, you be dating They probably like, listen to this racist <laughs> <laughs> Not even, yo, we already said it. No, no harm, no tea, but if you take it, yo, whatever. Like, listen, <laughs> even like dating like super light-skinned people for me, I'd be like, I don't do the pink Do parts. y'all know what this girl look like? Lighter than me. This girl is yellow, and and because it there are it hasn't been very hot, and the sun hasn't been out, <laughs> her color is just going by the day. I told her today she needs to, for real. You need to go. I don't know. You need a tan. I be in the people that build it. But she thinks she chocolate, I or she want to be I chocolate. Have the spirit of a chocolate person. Okay. I'm... And me sit on your black black let you pop by time, <laughs> and I'm just like the nervous girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> the nerve of this girl, bro. For those of you who don't know what a duchy is, <laughs> For real. we're not talking about marijuana. Yeah, right. We are referencing the pot. It yeah. is a Dutch pot. Dutch if you pot. don't know where it is, go look it up. Google the NFL. Okay. But yeah, so, like I said, her page gave me a bit of anxiety. I told her, I was like, you need some black. I told her too. I was like, you, you, that's it. Just, you know. Now, poor me to hear that this child has been victim of racism. Like being called nigger and Harriet Tubman and go free your slaves and going to school with people with confederate flags in their lives. I actually have something and to say about my niece when you're done too as well. Cause. And I think about this and I'm like, boy, it's a good thing that my brother is a Christian because had he been- In Maryland. Had he been anything like my father, and she been anything like me. Shoot him. We'd be fighting every motherfucking day. But she has the Lord guiding her steps. And I am so happy. For, she is such a loving little girl. Not for no nigger comment. Not for no nigger comment. Not for no nigger comment. <laughs> Let go I'm let sorry you have to see with me and we can repent later because <laughs> not no nigger comment. You're not going to nigger me. You're not going to... Like, no straight person not going to dyke me, like, Ooh. homosexual me. I know what I am, but you're not about to do that either. You ain't about to do that. Like, when I'm in... <laughs> I was going to say, when I'm in Jamaica, it's a bit different, because when it be like sodomite, that should be killing hilarious. Sodomite makes me laugh, y'all. I just can't take that. That word alone, the fact that you brought that up out of you just yeah, is hilarious sodomite. to me. Like, okay, you know your words. I love that's that. Cute. Yeah, I will never be okay with that one. That Batigan. just sounds stupid. Me, you're going to have me about to be like... <sighs> If that's a pum pum gal, but I, well, I do like the buttocks. But well, me like, well, yeah, but that's yeah. not what you're there for. Yeah. What about the no, sir. Never mind. Next, 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 next. Could you, could you, could help? Well, you know, if she lets me. <clears throat> um. So on another day, we'll talk about those <laughs> things. Anyway, go ahead. Um. But yeah, so. Like I was saying, I am very, like, I'm proud of her. Like, I tweeted it, did it, I'm really proud of her. Like, she is, she's patient, and she's a loving person. Like, she, like, she really is taking in what they feed in her about Christianity and God and the Bible and all this fun stuff. And I'm just like, girl, for you to be 17, you about to be 18 this summer, and you are out here making straight A's, you are here doing the damn Hold thing. Holding to your faith. Yes. It's and nice holding, to see the difference. Holding in to the, the uh, In the, uh... Yeah, of course, you know, she's 18 and whatever. She has her mm. thoughts and things mm. or whatever. But I asked her because my curiosity, I wanted to know, what is her views on homosexuality? So, you know, I had to go ask. I, because I was like, she's she's younger. You know, she's younger. She's not one of them old. Like, I know you got new friends. Et cetera. But I say young Christian. Yeah, so right, I wanted right. to know what she thought. And she was like, oh. Um, why do you ask? And I was like, I'm just curious. I want to pick your brain. I thought about it. And, you know, I just want to know. So, basically, she gave me this very, like... Does she know you're off the beat? Girl, no. <laughs> she doesn't know? She doesn't know about pasta sauce? No, no. Well, she knows now. After we had the conversation, now she knows about Go it. Go ahead. Run it. Run it to hey, me. Hey, Nisi. But, uh... Um, hey, girl. <laughs> but she... I don't even know if she, she, don't even know if she can listen to it because the parental controls that are on her devices, child... I'm going to go see if she can download it on Spotify because she can't go on the internet. But Damn. Mm -mm. Don't get me started. Because I'm thinking, like, sis is about to be 18 and go off to college this year. What the fuck do we think is going to happen when she has no physical parent on campus? Um, Last I checked, Back college now. campuses don't have parental control in the computer lab. Let me tell you something. The way I was up on people campus <laughs> and doing whatever the hell I was yeah, doing. I was in college you feel me? You feel me? And I was up in people campus heavy. When I said whole phase? Shout college. out to the whole phase. College? And I stayed at home for college. So yeah. imagine that. Right. Imagine. Same. <laughs> Same. Imagine if me didn't go out of state or down the road somewhere and sleep with people then bed. So. so the way I would have had like 10 girls pregnant because, Yo. you know. <laughs> Honest to God, though, a couple of y'all would have been a long time. Mm -hmm. Just as said. Mm -hmm. But I... Well, we're so much growth. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Because now I have value, and I'm not prepared for my sperm. I'm not prepared for me. You heard? Cause. Just don't come easy. Yeah, but I, I'm older now, and I know what I like, and I know what I want. Hell yeah. The experimental phase of, let's try this. You were still talking about your niece, or? Yeah, well, that's all tied into that. But. What is she, what's she saying? Hmm? She, okay. Her view, well, she had a lot of questions. Mm. Because she asked me, you know, like, do they know, like, when they're really young, or like, whatever, like, questions that I'm just like, how do you not know the answers to this at damn near 18 in 2019? Exactly, which is why I asked. And she was just genuinely, like, confused, because she's like, she, a part of her feels like it's a trend. Okay. She's like, where did all of these, like, come from? So I gave her, I was like, I said to her, I was like, let me give you another perspective, you know? Because her original comment was basically, you know, God loves everyone. Right. So I'm not here to judge. Mm. That's basically, in a nutshell, what she said. Like, you know, she just doesn't understand how all of a sudden, since society, quote unquote, is so accepting now, how everyone is all of a sudden gay. So I said to her, I was like, let me feed you another right. perspective and think about it. You aren't comfortable even talking to your parents about heterosexual sex. Mm-hmm. As a Christian, hearing that sex before marriage is wrong. The norm. This, that, 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 exactly, that's right? the Exactly, right? Exactly. You know? You're not comfortable talking to your parents about just heterosexual sex. Imagine now that you are homosexual and you can't even talk to your parents about regular sex. They can't talk to their parents about homosexual sex. Like the feeling of wanting to have sex with someone of the same gender or not wanting to be the gender that they're assigned at birth. Now, society is telling you, hey, it's warm out here, come out. And you start seeing more and more people being accepted, conversations are happening in households, just like how mm-hmm. me and you are having this conversation here now. And you realize that, hey, maybe my family isn't as biased as I thought they might have been. Let me step out this fucking closet. So more and more people are coming out because mm-hmm. it, the climate it's so, it's so well, much more welcoming. Yeah, accepting, yeah. Exactly. The knowledge and, you know, the visibility is there, so you mm-hmm. don't think I'm the only gay person in this world. Something is wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? So I, she was like, that makes sense, you know, that I was just like, oh, God, bless you. You are so sweet. Because I'm just, no, like, honestly, like, I'm really just like, because... I really have this fear that everybody's homophobic. <laughs> like, I really do. If I've never had a conversation with you, I automatically assume that you're homophobic. Mm. So I, I tread lightly into these conversations. So I Fact. stepped into it and I was just like, what are your views? You know, since so much, so many things are going on right now with homosexual news and everything, LGBT, all of that. What are your views on homosexuality, basically? And after Mira had that conversation, we went way the hell left and we had a whole cute, you know, auntie and niece conversation and it was real cute. And then I was like, I wonder how my brother feels about this shit. Right. You know, because my brother's older. My brother was born in Jamaica. He's, you know, also very, very, very Christian. So I was like, I wonder his views. And he basically came up with the same thing. Like, he explained that when he was younger, he had homophobic, like, thoughts or whatever. Like, he felt like he might have been homophobic. He wasn't sure if it was because he's Jamaican and the culture, music, Mm, all that stuff. The culture, church, all of that. Exactly, exactly. There's so many things. Well, he wasn't that Christian growing up, but Mm -hmm. as he became older, he turned his back over and all of that. And then he also talked about that, you know, being taught that, you know, homosexuality is a sin or whatever. He basically came up with the same, hey, I'm not here to judge. That's between you and God. Mm -hmm. I know I've had my issues with this, that, and the next, so I can't judge anybody for their own thing. So at the end of it, let go and let God pretty much. So I'm like, you know, I don't have to disown you people. Let's go. You so silly. You know, bitch, I was... <laughs> you so silly. You know I was ready to silly. tell people about themselves and their Christianity. So I was... Yeah, I was, you always ready for I Christians. Was, in the back of my mind, like, bitch, y'all better not say no dumb shit. So I'm going to have to come for y'all next and be like, what the fuck? Is that what they teaching y'all in church? <laughs> Crying. So I was just like... Just curl, yo. <laughs> I was just like... I was really, like... I was pleased. I was, like, pleasantly surprised with their responses. And I was like... Okay, so of course, you know, we both all just dug into completely different conversations. Mm -hmm. So that was basically like a highlight for me because I'm like, oh, the youth, at least some of them are getting, (laughs) you know, some kind of sense out of it. Like, you know, she's, she also said, so of course, like you said, that some of her friends in school are bisexual or gay Mm -hmm. or et cetera. So I was like, of course, you know, Christian school also. So Mm. What? 
Yeah, apparently they having sex over there too. So shit. Oh well, we know we we know, we know that. We know that. But she's out here worried about you know sex. She's like, um, mm-hmm. I don't know, girl. Listen, mm-hmm. don't give up nothing you don't know how to use. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Hold nothing. up. Hold up. Huh. <laughs> you are not properly versed in the workings of Hold the us. Don't go dashing it out. Hold on a minute. Say that again. Don't give away what you don't know how to use. <laughs> that's just that's just me. Well, if you don't know how to use it, you don't know how to use it. You can use it. Keep it. Well, she, shit, if I have to learn how to use it after a while of getting her, of not knowing how to use it, I just want to give the damn thing away and see if somebody else know how to use it or want to show me how to use it. Hold on now. Come on. No, no, no. Or read a book. Come on now. Yeah. Nah. All right. We, all right. Take away the least thing. Think about what you said, though. Suppose you have, suppose you got this game, right? This, I'm not talking about this, this little game. game boy, right? And you Don't have it there, me. you have it there, you have it there, you have it there. Hold on, let me hear pat her pom pom. <laughs> Why this girl watch me pat my buddy? Chill out. <laughs> Anyways. What you Roy? Yeah, so you have this game, right? Mm-hmm. You're dealing with the game, you're, you're on an overplay, you can't play, you can't play, you can't play. So somebody come along and say, hey, what's that? Me know about that game there. We can't help you play with it, and we can't play with the game if you can't show you how the game go. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, this is, okay, listen. You asking me though. You know I'm inquisitive, bad. So me want to ask question. Me want to play with it a little bit. I me want to make sure me, me flip around and touch. That's probably one of the issues that I too. have in school. Why? Why you get to my assistance? I like no. Me Your hands like, on. Yeah, yeah, bad. Mm-hmm. Like I like to fuck things as, up. As first, I said, I said, everybody just hands on so by themselves. And I saw you go. And I saw. Me know. No. Exactly. No. Even hands on people have supervision. Uh, Rasta. And you can't watch by me to get Hey, you see that get that? <laughs> Just admit the truth thing, yeah. Just say that's what I'm saying. Go on, go on, go on. But man, I said, well, yeah, so she don't forget her look or something. I look up past the land thing. She don't forget that. <laughs> I'm possible. And yo, I saw my mother used to call it. She'd be like, when I go wash in a possible. Yeah, possible is your vagina, ladies. Oh, God. And men, because y'all don't know what them things is either. <laughs> Sorry. Not even, yo, funny you said that. Let me not talk shit about y'all because <laughs> I posted on um, uh, Instagram about people masturbating because I know a lot of women who are opposed to masturbating. Mm-hmm. And it's yours. I have a question for you. What? Well, mm-hmm. Why is it that people, I won't just say men either because mm-hmm. that people, studs, I, I hear studs get upset about this as well. Like, if their um, woman has a vibrator or, like, a, no, a dildo, whatever have you, and they're using it on themselves, so why are they upset by this? Like, if they're, if they're not around or whatever, and she wants to, like, you know, you're not around real quick sometimes, you got to handle her business. Mm-hmm. Why are they upset? I feel mean, like, confused. why a woman get upset about their partner? No, why the men and the studs get upset? Listen. I haven't really heard of any gay men getting upset that they're men. Yeah, but, I'm sure, they but, I'm, but you know what? They're out there. Probably. No, they are. Mm-hmm. They are, for sure. Yeah. But <laughs> why would you get mad at your person pleasuring themselves in your absence? Like. So, okay. Is it the pleasuring portion or is it the toy portion? I believe, I believe it's. So I guess some men, men mostly won't, if she's just like using her mm-hmm. hands, I guess, you know, it's okay, you know, whatever. But I guess once the toy aspect comes in, like a rabbit and then kind of, anything that I think, I think penetration is the big, is the big issue, uh-huh. the penetration part of it. So yeah, they get like real uncomfortable. I'm very confused. Like, babe, like you got to handle your business. I am not here right now. Go ahead and handle that shit. Tape it, record it, something. Send, send me it a video. Me. Like, give me your audio. Y'all yeah, know I like this. No. Why you like? Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So tape it and send it to me. Like, I don't know what these niggas be on. Why would you be mad if your lady is handling? Like, this is my thing because I feel you one hundred percent. I'd rather you fuck yourself than go fuck somebody, somebody else. else. You heard? Mm. Point blank. Period. Mm. So that part. that's me, and I'm I'm a sucker. Hey, 
No videos. Videos already didn't happen. What's up? This is what the fuck I'm saying. You want to let me watch though? Like, like, try. We need a tripod. Let me let me get that back in. Like, I'll be like, don't care. I will have to hit you up at pointless. Let me borrow that tripod. <laughs> I need that. I gotta set that up real quick. She need to set that up when I'm not there, so she could you feel me, make a but little. But see, that's us though, because we are open and we are realistic and we understand that. I'm not there to fuck you. You can have fun. Fuck like, yourself. Exactly. Like, you know how to do it. So. Like, 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 look, man. Like, if you want to fuck yourself, I think, you do that. I think it's insecurity. Being replaced kind of thing? I think it's insecurity. And I feel like a lot of men have an issue with toys in, a, in general. Like, mm-hmm. just in general. Not shouldn't say a lot. Some men the have an issue. The whole feeling inadequate thing. Yeah. Yes. And especially if it's like one of the real toys, like you talking about a rabbit, it's vibrating, it's I would, twirling. You know, you know where I would see people feeling that way? If they know damn well sexually, they, they ain't performing the way they're supposed to, mm. period. And they know she doing that to bust the nuts that she ain't getting, period. Ooh. Like, yeah. It could be that too. That's what it I think it is. Like, too. you know damn well in the back of your head that you are not performing mm-hmm. the way you should be performing and she got to... Get her shit off the way she can, but my nigga still, you should be fucking thankful that she not out there hopping on another dick or whatever it is. That part. part. Your preferences, whatever. And she's still doing this and fucking with you. Exactly. Nigga, you the one who not, but then again, that comes down to communication about that sex life. Yeah. That too. Boop. And another thing that on that topic, I'm, I've heard this where men feel away when, you know, during sex, a woman will pull out a toy. Like men will have an issue with that. Like let's say, he, like a vibrator. Like, let's like say he's you, effing her and she went to the yeah, vibrator on her foot. Like, like a, yeah, okay, like a okay. vibrator or like if she tries to suggest he wears like a cock ring or something like that. A cock like, ring, a vibrator. Yeah, like a vibrating I'm ring. I'm jealous. Man, you can put one of them things on. It might feel good for you too. It might feel good. You think it's it vibrating the whole day? Yeah, Melange John Silver. Yeah, <laughs> Melange John not Silver, but Melange John Brown. <laughs> But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've heard of men feeling a way about, you know, that type of thing. And I feel like it's a sense of insecurity, like, inadequacy. Like, why does she need this if I'm here? Like, a lot of niggas be on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, if I'm fucking her right, she don't need no extra to... Like, even if you are fucking her right, sometimes she just want a little bit extra. Like, exactly. Maybe she, she hitting a certain angle that you just ain't exactly. gonna touch. Exactly. Boy, like, but like you said, communication. Yeah, that comes down to it. And we said this already in like some episodes before. Like, if you're not satisfied, like speak up. Like, Say something. if them strokes is not hitting, speak up. If and also, he can't find the clip for guy's sake, she can't find the clip. Whatever he can't. Men, well, um, for my gay men, I don't really that G spot. The G spot, right? Correct. So you know, if he ain't. Throwing it back right, if yeah. he ain't stroking it right, if he ain't eating your man pussy the way he's supposed yes, to, yes, the man pussy. Let him know. Like, Eat that pussy, bitch. Get the fuck out. <laughs> but that I still like if. But this is my thing in general. If you're in a relationship with someone, you should be able, especially if y'all are having sex. Like especially if y'all are in a relationship and having sex. If it's just somebody you fucking, that's your business. It don't go but that if you're way. in a relationship with someone and you're having sex, like y'all are fucking, you should be able to tell them, listen, even if you want to pose it like, hey, I heard that this is good. Like if, if you're nervous to talk about this because you feel like, you know, the person's ego might be bruised or whatever the case is, like pose it in a way that it doesn't come off like I need this for us to, for me to be pleased. For real, be like, yo, babe, like we should try this. Yes. I heard or this one. Have you heard something? Or exactly. I saw this on. Or find a way. Suppose you like if you see it somewhere, find a Tag way to that bring ass. it up. I'll be like, hey, look at this. I saw this. She you know what I'm saying? I'm a sucker for like, sending some eyes with an at sign, like bitch hashtag uh you wanna do this? You so funny. How you feel about this part? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? What are your thoughts? Concerns? Yeah, because like me you and my, know I was saying, like, her. me and my, what we do, like, we see stuff and we huh? study. Me, what? Uh, mm-hmm. Me and mine? Mm-hmm. My woman. Yo. Mm-hmm. I hate this girl, dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all be sending uh, tips and tricks and like, we, says, we see stuff and we be like, yes, please. Or, yeah, like, this is it. Like, this is what you want to do. Whether it be, like, some sexy shit. You know, mm-hmm. like, like, some no kinky shit. Yeah. And she'll be like, she like it, or mm-hmm. how you like this, or she, you feel me? It's a, but 
our sex thing. Wow. So communication, y'all under and also chemistry. A lot of y'all don't pay attention to chemistry. It's sexual ain't got, chemistry. Ain't got none. Y'all don't know how to read body language. Y'all don't know how to read. And people think just because they they find someone attractive, no. it equals chemistry. In no, class. that just that's just physical attraction. Correct. Because a ugly motherfucker can give you all the sexual chemistry in the world, and you might be like, this person is not cute to me, but whew, for some people. You petty, <laughs> but that do not so. do not be, do not be shady in here today. I'm not playing with you. I'm dead ass. Do not do I that. I hope y'all listen to my podcast. But um, <laughs> you know, and the same thing. You can have somebody that's fine as fuck, like all day, every day. Like, oh my god, this person is drop dead gorgeous. I would move and heaven and earth for this by the time y'all get to it. It not is. a spark, not a not even not even not even matches a flash, like nothing, just nothing, just dry, like not even little water can dash pan it for make it wet, like just it, no, it like and y'all need to understand that a lot of y'all be looking at these couples like oh my god they're so perfect together, they're so cute, y'all need to understand like if you don't lust after your partner like. Like me and oh my god, me and Whitney talk about this all the time. Fever. Like if your partner don't, don't give, give you fever, fever like yes, sir. child, like you be hot in the neck, oh, like yeah. looking at the bitch. Some like, guy, some guy be giving you fever. Yes, but you know what I'm saying, like you. But even like the little things make you like general, damn. Big general. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, even like the little things don't get you like a little bit excited about your I'm partner. I'm trying to tell you. Like the littlest things, like the bitch woke up and it rolled over and barely touched Do you. Do you understand like, what the fuck I'm saying? Like, oh my god. Oh. My like god. you walk in the room and you feel their energy. Type you hear shit. me? Like y'all need to understand. It's a big difference between I want to fuck with. That. Yeah. Like, you just, like, sit in there existing, and I'm just, like... Yes. Like, you just, oh, I just want to, like, wow. Yes. And mm. a lot of that comes in with communication also. Y'all both need to understand what the other likes, and you need to also know what you like as an individual. Because if you don't know what you like, how you, how you really, like, how do you really plan to tell somebody else what you like? But, if you're um, not being pleased. <laughs> this, is, this is funny coming from me. Uh-oh. Yeah, mm. I was gonna say like some people communicate other things better than others. Mm-hmm. Sex is not easy for some people. Some True. people can talk about a whole bunch of things and can't talk mm-hmm. about whatever. I could even say about me. Oh shit! Well, this one. Ugh. So like me, like I could talk about sex and what I like, don't like, what we could try, don't try. If you don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm very open to that. Like if them strokes is not hitting, please fucking tell me them strokes is not hitting, so I can fucking shake the fuck up, please. Thank you, mm-hmm. but we know that's not the case. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. I don't know. Yeah, but like other <laughs> shit is is funny. Sometimes mm-hmm. communicating other things mm-hmm. is harder. That goes for other people's like work. feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. You see my face? Whoa. Like, mm-hmm. I be sitting here telling y'all all day long that y'all need to communicate y'all feelings, but bitch, I need to practice what we I We are preach. very trash over here. I think it has a lot to be to do with being Jamaican, though. And being raised by the type of Jamaicans that we were raised by. I agree. Because, like I said, I've been talking to my family members. On top of being in, on top of your own personal situations yeah. and, and traumas. Yeah. That you, you need to go to therapy for. <laughs> Anyways, don't, 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 okay. don't, don't, don't come, don't, don't come mix me up. I was talking to myself. Anyways. I was talking to myself. I therapy, you. you know, definitely talking to myself. You know how people be tweeting on Twitter <laughs> and they're not talking about your ass and you just be like, bitch. That's why I'm like, home. that's why I'm over here like, I'm definitely talking about myself. You will be guilty? I don't give a fuck. I am guilty. But no, then I still like, i I'll be the first one to say, like, you need to voice your opinions and tell your partner Not that everything. something is bothering you. I'm always like that. Child. Communicate, communicate, communicate. And I'm, I'm really, I'm, tr- oh, man. I know I'm trash. I'm working on it. Like, I this am is all I'm trying saying. to work on this shit. Because I literally, I will sit down and have a conversation in my head, head about the what? whole thing. About what I should be saying. And, and then I sit there and just end up just start crying. Just be like, as don't make no sense or I'm just <laughs> done mute nothing mute and it's nothing. not even like I'm trying to I just cannot find the words they're not coming out but when I was over there by myself I had the whole what? thing we was gonna do this get through it what? love you Carve be up good and, done. and be good that's child <laughs> <laughs> bitch the whole thing that played out in my head now it's time to act it out and I'm just like sitting there like and then you're all emotional and stuck all in your chest 
No. <laughs> Bitch, eyes be watering, and it be the worst. What are you crying about? That should be good. Nothing. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Bitch, no, the fuck I'm not. Oh, why you face <laughs> I don't know. Look, <laughs> and no, then, <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, if you can, you can. But I'm, I'm one of those people. I write though. Right. I will text you the fuck down. And I know people be like, that's immature. Even Why don't you just say me, it? Even that for me be getting stuck sometimes. No, I be. I, mm. I think it's because I used to. I used to keep a journal when I was younger, like an actual physical writing journal. Mm-hmm. And then you know, of course, I had live journal at one point. And then mm-hmm. all that but stuff. I've, I've since like. A lot. I've gotten like so out of shit yeah. I was. I got out of touch with my thing, but I still have my notepad and my yeah. my little app thing on my thing, and I have a uh, what you call it WordPress and mm-hmm. so on. And you know, Tumblr. Tumblr used to be like good for that back in the day. You know, yes. to like write your whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, I still like some when life gets busy, yeah, and crazy, like start bottling shit. Yes, it just comes out in tweets now. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and, and it comes out with tweets now, and posts now, and memes now, and reposts, oh, and started. photo captions, and <laughs> shares. That's what it comes out in now. It's nobody's really putting in the work. Putting yeah, in nobody's the, not really saying, "Yo, let me grab my notebook real quick. Let uh-huh. me write down some shit. Let me write down how I'm feeling." No, they I'm are just very tweeted away. You, I'm gonna put post. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything else but write down Listen, my feelings. You will see me write like ten wow. tweets. I, just, I never back thought about it to like back, that. to back, to back. I, I never thought about that shit like that. Big, big, a big disconnect in the generation. I never yeah. realized that. Yeah. Hmm. I will, I will tweet you to death. I'm not at nobody, but if you feel a way, reach out and touch. Look, but you know what's funny? I've, I've growth again for me because mm-hmm. I have really tried to control my petty on social media. Yeah. I like. I'm a rice be bad. Like to that we. What? Like yeah, we for real. Cause oh shit, yo, we used to go to fuck yo. Yeah. Like we we were we were a different breed of. Ain't shitness on yeah, social media. Yo. Twitter? Don't come for neither one of us on Twitter. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to search them joints, yo. Mm-mm. No? Don't come look for me. No, I'm going to search them later and I'm, <laughs> before I go sleep. <laughs> a part of me wanted to go back and look, but I was like, child, somebody will find it for me. I'm not doing yeah, it. Yeah, we, def- we definitely scrape many an ass on social media. My Twitter has been the same Twitter from <laughs> really? reception. That's I the same have one? never changed my Twitter. I think I had either. I was off Twitter for a little bit. I was, I was off, like, but I came back with the same username. Okay, I was off and then came back and I'm different and different again because oh. you know my names changed. Yeah, yeah. I was Gandhi at yes. one point. L. L. Gandhi. Mm-hmm. Let's get it correct here. Mm-hmm. All type L. L. Gandhi. All type of other stuff, and you know everybody knows Time Sugar, of course. Yeah. And now it's in lying in the yes. I just been pointless. pointless. Yeah, you always been pointless. Yeah, since day one. That's how I knew you. Since day one, pointless. If anything, I just stopped using it. Who is girl? Pointless. You know what's funny? Somebody asked me about that at the brunch the other day. Um, we went to brunch of creatives, Fire Fair Nation. A few of us went out there, and. We were talking, of course, Javen is on the stage, bringing up Black Fair Nation, yeah. you know, trying to get pointless to come on the panel. I'm like, I'm not ready for this. Y'all don't want to hear my mouth, but yeah. stage fright. <clears throat> but yeah, so somebody okay. came and asked me, like, after they did the panel reviews and everything and talked and all that, I was like, why pointless? And I was like, we won't die anyways. Fuck this shit. All this shit is pointless. And it was like, Really? Man, and I was like, man, your soul is dark. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And it was like, that's, and I was like, yeah. Point us on everything. Come find me. And it was like, they really were sitting there looking dumbfounded, like that's. And I was like, that's how I believe. In all honesty, pointless. that's what pointless is. Like, and I was that's like, who where, is Jamaican? Yeah. And she funny, funny. <laughs> the funny, funny. She funny, funny too. <laughs> I know who this Jamaican right here. No, no, no. And then you know, repost, repost. Exactly. That's how you get a lot of um. Tumblr and social media friends. Let me just repost a lot of bitch. I like your motherfucking tweets. Let me just like these shits. Like, and that's mm-hmm. honestly how I end up liking and following and reposting people because mm-hmm. a lot of y'all, I, some of y'all, I end up in wormholes on y'all pages. Twitter was different. Then I mean, Tumblr yeah. was different then though. Yeah. Tumblr's, I mean, Tumblr's crap now. Yeah, yeah. Tumblr was a shit. But Tumblr got rid of a lot of like. I'm not even gonna talk about like the pornographic aspect of it. Just content. It yes. Mm. Like, but. 
my thing with Tumblr though, it's based on who you follow. Right. Because I still follow some people who write on Tumblr. Like yeah. I'll see some wordy posts and I'll be like, yes, bitch. You have like three shit. Tumblrs or two Tumblrs, yo. <laughs> and I don't know login for not one. I think my no, I think I'm I lying. I think I know for like one. Well, I made a foot fetish um Tumblr. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, we go. Oh, you know exactly where we gonna go to with this. The same shit we was talking about the other day on Twitter. Okay, so what? Who made a foot fetish Tumblr? I did. For and your that, foot? Yes, for my foot. Only two foot pictures in it though. But I thought about it because my nigga, listen. hold up, no, 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 no. You ain't gonna just hop over that <laughs> like that ain't shit now. So you foot fetish? Yeah. Cause oh, this is like when I was a young lady and I used to actually go get pedicures all the time. Oh, when you was a girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, briefly, calm down. And Chill out, I, <laughs> so I decided, you know, that was back in the day when Snapchat, like private Snapchat started popping up when they started, you know, oh, send me $50. You have access to my private Snapchat. And I was mm-hmm. like, and the private Tumblrs were coming out mm-hmm. and all of that too. And I was like, hmm, okay. well, I want to make some coin right. off of some body parts. Mm. My vagina is too pretty for y'all to just be paying fifty dollars for, so that's not happening. These titties, bitch, you it. Yes, I was she. like, mm. and somebody says a self prison, a self prison, a recommendation. Don't think like that, you know? Oh, you thought. So, um, what is it? Look over, look confused, run about here. So, ah, what? The foot, them they look alright. So, I'm saying, I'm going to sell two foot picture. No, shine so, tool. So, <laughs> so I made a page, and I was like, I'm gonna do this for a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm one of those people like I I'm confident about how I look, but I'm not the type of person to sell myself. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks me about myself, I'm like, oh no, nigga, I'm just me. Like, whatever. But I'm confident within myself and my capabilities. People love you. So me she, personally she, you know people think you fine. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. But um <laughs> I I was just I never promoted it. Mm-hmm. I probably could have made some money if I really cared, but I never really promoted it. Like I got one or two likes and shit, but I was like, I don't care, you know? So yeah, I never really promoted it. So it didn't, you know, people was out here selling panties and nudes and all of this stuff. And I was just like, mm, y'all out here promoting. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll promote for you. I'll repost your shit. But me personally, I didn't do it for myself. So I was just like, it didn't go nowhere for me. But I had like how many? T- I don't know how many Tumblr pages I had, but it wasn't like you know when the private Tumblr thing started going on and everybody was doing password protected accounts and all of that. Didn't really care for it because not that many people knew about my Tumblr. To, not well, I'm sorry, nobody that I knew in real life mm-hmm. knew about my Tumblr. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't care. Y'all can see that shit. I was about saying just a few but, know about mine. Exactly. So that's when it was like a secret society, bro. Yes, when niggas had like cold questions and shit about if you want to ask somebody if they have a Tumblr, but you don't want to ask, ask them, them about Tumblr. Yo, like, I like your socks or some shit, niggas. Was <laughs> some weird shit. And then the memes that were on there yes. and only on Tumblr that no, a lot of people didn't know what they were. Exactly. Come on. Finding their way on Facebook. It yeah, Facebook. when <laughs> it started to flood, I was like, ugh. Yeah. I left and it came back. I have as well, like yeah. same thing. Left and but came back. It, I feel like it stopped getting so like community based. Yeah. After like people stopped, I wouldn't say they stopped writing, but it was like a lot of. It was a lot of porn on Tumblr. There is a lot of porn. Oh, there was a lot of porn like, then. Back then, like, it, back then it was free for all. We was all wilding up there. We were all. <clears throat> Thank you for deleting those pictures. Titty Tuesday, Tapas Tuesdays. Wet Wednesdays. Um, so, you know, we talk about some of the best photos I've ever seen in my life on there, too. Anyway, go ahead. Art. You included. Hmm. Y'all, but you. Next. You know, I used to do my little photography thing or whatever. Listen, them join. Them pictures used to be. Yeah. Like, real inconspicuous. Like, wait, what the fuck am I looking at? Yo, everything. The yeah. poems, the it was just real. Yeah. It was just a real time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was my favorite time on Tumblr. Like mm-hmm. people were literally out there posting like feelings and in an artistic way. Twitter wasn't no joke back then either though. True. Twitter was ruthless at one point. 
Yo. Who the one's the mean big sister? And that's when you didn't have that much um, space to tweet you? Nah, You gotta get them shits out? Yo, Twitter was crazy then. And then Twitter bullies was real. Facts. Like, hmm. Y'all wanted to get dragged? We wasn't even Twitter jail? We, listen. Nowadays, when, you know, they're doing anti-bullying and all that. I got put into the jail. I'm not going to tell you the amount of time that ended. <laughs> like, Yo, and I ended up on Facebook talking about I'm in Twitter jail. <laughs> yes! That's usually what would happen. You'll go to Facebook like, well, since I can't tweet for the next hour and a half or two, let me come on here and yeah, see what's kid, going like, on. I think about kids these days. They won't even get to, like, know some of the lit shit. And I was thinking about, like, AIM or AIM, oh, whatever. Yeah, okay. We used to just call it AIM up top, so... Yo, like, yes, how many screen names people had? I had so many, like, how many? I've had, I had X, and it, that's when it was like XO underscore, but it was like X zero, which is with like 69 at the end, yo. and all the baby girls. Yo, the- my yahoo.com oh, email shit. was, oh, I think they like me, oh, five. Wow, talk to me. Well, I was <laughs> May, May 7, um, <laughs> my birthday, whatever. <laughs> that was that was me for a little bit, and at one point I was puff puff cutie because I had my twin little puff like Minnie Mouse. God. Well, oh. first first of all, my first ever like AOL screen name was Manchester Beth. What? My father made it. <laughs> Manchester because the Manchester the Beth because Bethany where his people them come from wow. Jamaica so Manchester Beth was my first AOL thing and then you know after I'm a slap way you know I'm boss yeah, way so home. I'll type of X for this and fly fly this and country I had country girl something was one of the country girl 87 I better go the hell on with my <laughs> <laughs> full of shit I don't know what the hell I'll type of and then, you know, you start getting up and, you know, the, it starts to change. You're like, yo, this year, the new school year, I need me a new screen name. Oh, my God. When you have to copy and paste everybody's screen name. Let me get your new screen name. Let me get your, get your new okay. screen name. Yo. I have. Buddy list. That's what the name was called, yeah, no? it's the buddy list. Ew. <laughs> and you remember when you could give people a different tone for when they log yeah. in on the computer? The knock, knock. Or the, the, you know, some people had, like, open. the Aaliyah song. Oh, God. <laughs> yo. And you dial up shit holla at me with dial up y'all want no struggle my real age my real age what you about to come with bitch when they used to send the free cd to try it <laughs> Girl, no, listen, and like the, 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 um, the AOL CD 6.0, oh 7.0, 10.0, <laughs> and that dialogue would just sit there, like, what is this? And it was a cheap ass little CD too, with the top, the top was like a little, with a little aim, with a little aim man on it. Little man running, like, what? Dog, those were the, day. and they used to come in the mail, dead ass. And you used to think you was the shit. When like, you got that, you'd be like, yo, y'all got the new, y'all got the new AOL. <laughs> And then on top of that, y'all done made how many freaking accounts trying to keep up with the free trials? That's when you first start scamming. Yo, it was lit. You get in, you when that thing load all the way up, you got mail. Bitch. (laughs) Okay. Fuck with me. Listen, them aim group chats used to be lit. I got a lot. And my parents were crazy. They had parental controls. You know how many times I got locked out? And they had to let me back in because I used to get into the groups and the forums. Oh, yeah. And little chats. And I used to curse people to out or I was saying really inappropriate things for my little age Listen. and they would be like you can't get locked back in until your parents approve and here come mommy and daddy to call me into room to ask me what I be talking <laughs> about in these people chat room see thankfully mm-hmm. my mother was not computer literate right because she was not with none of them shit she barely even knew how to turn on like, computer right but so, daddy yeah of, of daddy's my father. daddy's my technical guy if my guy. father was here it probably would have been the same, the same. Mm-hmm. But my mother was not with none of that shit mommy she, mommy don't know how mommy don't know parental wa control wa mommy <laughs> don't know where the q they're from where they are they're probably keyboard Listen, much less my mother thought turning off the monitor was turning off the computer okay baby so, <laughs> so i'm to the bottom she okay, never, baby. She never seen me use that part then, so okay, that, that part was irrelevant. Okay. So she used to lock off that part and go on about our business. <laughs> two tools, to push a button and come back in. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Listen, okay? We used to be lit in them AIM group chats. Yeah. ASL, the, all of that. The, like, yo, AIM <laughs> sex location, baby. Okay. We, I want to talk about this. What's up? I think about all the shit that we used to do when we was kids, right? Thanks. Shit like that. Yeah. And... I think about like how our parents used to just be so paranoid of us getting kidnapped, nah, and, yeah. you know. 
And it's a realistic fear. Of course. A very realistic fear because of course. it's happening. Unless you were smart like me and I catfished everybody what? back in the day. <laughs> I was I was a I was a boy named Jay. Oh shit! I had a whole girlfriend in Texas for like two years. She thought I was a whole boy. We were like <gasps> it was crazy. Like I had a whole so online girlfriend. Like, like she loved me and all that. What was her little thing? Hello, girl. I'm about to out this girl. Her thing was little princess for you. Wow. Listen, boy, my whole girlfriend, dude. Wow. My whole so girlfriend. Can I? What's up? Oh, she not listening to this. I'm sorry, little princess. Oh. Um, why were you a boy? Were you were you living your life through the internet? I was. I've I've known that I've um uh -huh. I'm up <laughs> all sorts. <laughs> I've known that I'm all sorts for a very long time. Even back like even then, like I would pretend to be a boy online or like oh yeah, more than I would pretend like, you know, just be my regular self. Like she said pretend to be a girl. <laughs> come on, y'all, y'all know. But yeah, I was doing that even then, like it was natural for me. I was like, yeah. da da da, whatever. She never knew. And then we talked on the phone, but oh. back then I used to, uh, no, uh, I used to put it up. Well, yeah, you ain't hit puberty yet, so the voice. Yeah, you and feel me? So it was alright, but you know I used to hit on my thing. You feel me? <laughs> Shit. We, so you never sent her pictures or nothing? Oh, um, who? Your, your girlfriend. Not of me. Oh shit. Of somebody else. See, and that's the <laughs> shit I be talking about. It's a real life fear. Like nowadays, when I be, I be talking I was about so catfish. young, my nigga. I was young. Like 12, 11. Yeah. yeah. Them eight Catfishing. Yeah. yeah. I. But I knew that. I knew better. Yeah. At that age, you telling me you in Texas, I ain't gonna tell you I'm in the. What? What? What we supposed to be doing? I'm far. Okay. Wherever you are. Oh, NY. Oh, CA. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, FL. Listen. Oh, yeah. Until they Washington, the what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Maine, Texas. <laughs> you better know your fucking geography, nigga. The oh, fuck? <laughs> Come on now. No, don't even play with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, this nigga need a whole fucking map of the United States. Like, you're in Arizona, bitch. I am in Delaware. You feel with like, so do you. Look Detroit. at you. Your punk ass. <laughs> Hey, exactly. But no, nope. honestly though, and you know, I watch all them crime shows like SVU and fucking Criminal Minds and all of that. And I was never my age. Yeah, I think I was sixteen, but all I, I was, was like, never my age. Listen, I was sixteen. I was eighteen, but I wasn't trying to meet up with none of these. People. No, but my thing is, I knew, but I knew even then at that age that you could be catfishing me. Yes. So I'm, in my head, it was all a game. Yeah. Like, we could do this, and I have a little friend to talk to online. Yeah. It's fun. Listen. But but you are going to get a person that I create. You're yeah. not, because this is fun for me. You know what I'm saying? You could be catfishing me. But all in all, I was talking to some big belly man named Little Princess for you, and it was probably some big-ass, greasy-ass man. Funny enough, you probably were. You feel me? You probably were. Exactly. Because, like I said, I watch all these shows, like, you know, shit like that happens, and... There was an episode of SV, no, Criminal Minds, okay. where, I can't remember her name, the dark-haired girl, mm -hmm. she, her niece or something like that, I think it was her niece, mm -hmm. um, she was online talking to some boy. The boy. Yes, and then he the, said them hot boy pictures, and her her friend went pick to Pick up and, and something, the mom yeah, or something, somebody yeah, went to come pick up. The hairy motherfucking man behind a picture of the young hot boy, senior, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Gone. Yep. Yeah, and I know what you're talking about. My mom used to be so paranoid. My mom is paranoid about all of those things, like us getting kidnapped, us getting molested, us getting raped, all of that. My mom is paranoid about all of that, like, overly. And me and my brother used to, like, joke with her, like, yo, calm down, like, whatever. But even shit, like, I catch myself saying now, like, when people leave their kids in a stroller, like, not even in a stroller, like, in a shopping cart in the stores or whatever. You know how many times we've gone out and seen people, kids wandering in the store and stuff? You know. Yeah. Like, I'd be I'll like, be who child. kid is this? I'd be like, who, who you belong to? Come get your children. People was just snatching up these babies, like, nothing. On camera or not. Dog. Yo, people don't care either. Just so, go on with them. Exactly. So, like, thinking about, like, us, like, doing that stuff, right? And I think about, like, when I have children, like, I'm not gonna be naive to the fact that, okay, my 12-year-old is gonna be thinking about sex. Listen, honestly, I give my mother all the credit where that came in, because she talked to us about sex. Uh. 
She talked to us about sex. Listen, I took her. I was like, "Ew, mom, can you stop?" The kids is going to get it from what? me. You heard? Let me tell you something. I First of all, I am tech savvy in your ass. Uh-huh. So good luck to you there, because I will lock you out of everything. I'm gonna okay. Lock you out of shit Number one. No, no, no. This is if you. This is if you out of control and you out of pocket. Yeah. I will lock you out of the shit. You have to mm-hmm. figure it out on your own. Mm-hmm. Now, you. <laughs> What? You talking about like sex? Oh, we're going to talk. Let's. I don't have time for the foolishness. Because if you don't know, is when you start doing stupid shit. So I need you to know. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to let you know. You're going to hear the little pion pion school. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to give you what the real is. Exactly. We could do demonstrations, whatever you feel like. I will get me a banana and some condoms if you need me to. Because <laughs> I, my mom, like I said, she first off signed off on them sex ed uh, paperwork. Okay. I was all of 10 years old in the fifth grade in Brooklyn, New York at PS135, Sheldon A. Brooklyn. My mom was my mom was cool with it. My mother was like, oh, they want y'all to learn about sex sex, bitch. One next thing I gotta talk I got too a, much I, about. I so got a question. Sex. I got a question for you. Then yes, this is great. This this ties into Sidani. That's my niece, yeah, that's my baby. But she when you were there and you did that, did you get a demonstration with a Yeah, they had I think they showed it on a video and they gave us bananas and condoms and like basically was like, how do you do it? Because nowadays they do actual dildos. Oh. Sadani has done it. Huh. I actually, like she told me when we were in Jamaica or whatever, we, you know, chilling mm-hmm. and she talked to me and so, and no, like a, with a flavored condom as well. She said it was a flavored condom. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Have mercy on me. I was just like. This is my baby, y'all. So I was just like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah she was like, they gave me a dildo and da-da-da. I was just like, why do you even know that word? <laughs> Stop it. And then she was like, yeah, it was a flavor condom and yeah, and you know, and all that. Mm-hmm. She, I was just like, oh no. Yeah. But, but I, I, I am, I, but at the same time, I'm very, I'm, I'm glad that she's well, 13. Oh, okay. My niece is 17 and don't know nothing about that. I need her to get no, but that's not of any fault of her own. Correct. It's you know the environment mm-hmm. that she's in, and I would much rather my child be in the same situation as your niece because I don't want you to be out in the world not knowing what the fuck is going on. Like like I said, we were open to ask questions. Like mm-hmm. I've never feared asking my mother any kind of question about sex or sexual related things. So. I mean, I'm not going to sit here talking about, hey, mom, how do you feel about sucking dick? Like, I'm not going to sit there and have no kind of big people argument like that with my body. <laughs> you see my face? My goodness. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know to tread lightly with a topic. But that was like said before, my mother let me read, like, all the Eric Jerome Dickey books and Zane books and all that. But with me, see, I, I did not have, I mean, my mother, we talked about my, you know, period and stuff. Mm-hmm. And what can happen? Never like. Not let's right. get to talk to the point. Mm-hmm. Like something had happened one time in the news, and I believe it was some guy raped some some girl mm-hmm. or kidnapped whatever something. And she remember she was doing my hair, the blow dry my hair. Mm-hmm. I gave me a couple of China bomb, mm-hmm. and she was like, "What do you know about sex?" And I was just like, "Oh Jesus!" Uh, like first of all, majority of the things that I know about sex, I've learned on my own. Yeah. Like I. Period. Me and my mom did not sit and and yeah, we, they, didn't, we didn't we didn't we ain't talk about not a damn sex nothing. This is why this is why I need, I'm going to be different with my kids because same. I want to sit, I want to talk, I want to know what y'all know, what y'all don't mm-hmm. know, what y'all understand, what y'all don't understand, what you're curious about. I need to know. I want to know what you look curious ass is thinking about. What you talking about? You like boys? You like girls? What you looking at? You're not sure. You're not sure. You young? It's whatever. Are you you know you curious? You look at you looking at both like. What What's up? What's what's going on with you? Talk to me. Cause you could be looking at both and feeling very weird. And I can exactly. be there to assure you that you're not weird. Exactly. It's it's perfectly fine. And that is one of the things that I always feel like I want to be that parent with my child. Because mm-hmm. granted, I was open to talk to my mother about just sex as a whole. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? But to get down to the different categorizations of it, like I heard my mother say homophobic shit. So I knew damn well I wasn't gonna talk to her about nothing gay. I knew damn well I wasn't going to be like, so mom, let's talk about cuddling your sister. For any way I ever met my father, though. <laughs> but, and then on top of that, I remember watching a news story with my mom one day. I think she was doing my hair too, mm-hmm. funny enough. And it's something came on, and this is something about kids on school bus. Um, 
performing fellatio, sucking a little dick. <laughs> and share, just in case y'all don't know what fellatio is. And yeah, because I'm not a damn dog. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she's just like, them nasty. And I'm just sitting here like, hmm, is this how you really feel? Or is this how you think you I should feel? Like, do, where, where is, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just leave that portion of the topic alone. Like, Thanks. you know? But like I said, too, before, like, when I moved out and I got cussed out and all that fun stuff, it was a lot of, um, we don't say, oh, damn, yeah, poom poom, and I suck cocky, and you can make up your mind. And I was just like, whoa, 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 you whoa. You sucking hey, cocky, and I'm poom poom. Wait a minute there, buddy. I've never told you that I do these things. Just buffet, stop it. Buffet style. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying like I want to be able to have a conversation with my children of course they're going to feel weird because it's your parents talking to you about sex like it's I don't think anybody's ever comfortable talking to their parents about sex no matter how cool you are still kind of like ew you're my mom like you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day I want them to be comfortable you gotta open up them lines and you gotta make sure they know that those lines are always open at exactly. all times it's when they don't know uh-huh. and when you don't talk to them it's what you know what the problem is is when people disconnect kind of from their kids from young and they don't pay close enough attention and then they want to hop into their business mm. at like 10 and up you don't just you should yeah. have been talking to them all these times not about sex but yeah. have building that kind yeah. of relationship where they feel comfortable it's y'all try to hop into their business about that they're like who the hell exactly you didn't care about nothing else before now you want to talk about sex that's stop a good it. fucking point stop it because even with all of that mm-hmm. like you don't want to go to school do your homework do your chores go to school do your homework do your chores then puberty starts. Hey, hell no! Nah. What's going? No, you don't need to be back your ass up. You, you, and a lot of things that I've realized that parents don't ask their children how they're feeling. Yeah, a lot of parents don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, even though I'm not, I'm a horrible aunt. I'm not very active in my niece's life. Like we talk here and there, but when we talk, we be. T- I'm, I'm a terrible. Talking, I'm a terrible aunt as well. So I hear you. We be talking forever. Like when we get together, we be talking. Yeah, that's like, me and Sabine. literally four days straight. Be stuck. You she know? just tell me all her business, and I'll be like, "Girl, I do not need to know all of that." Jesus like, and God. I text her, you know, but you know, she a young one, you know, so she'll be like, Same. "Hey, mm-hmm, yeah, bye. I'm good. Bye." Yeah. Yeah, because she sent me over Christmas break. I told her something about going to do schoolwork. This bitch just did not text me back. I'm I'm crying. (laughs) And I have millions of other nieces and nephews, but child, I can't, y'all. Yeah, this is I love you all. I love you all, though. I swear, but (laughs) Jesus, there's a lot of y'all. I don't have as many, but this is literally, like, this is my oldest niece. My first, the first person that made me an auntie. So, Mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, we, like, we be talking, and I'm just like, girl. Me and my... Well, and me and Jason are like that. Yeah. That's my, that's my. Your thing. cousin? <laughs> my. <laughs> Don't tell nobody that's your fucking nephew. <laughs> Could it be like, but he's like three months younger than you. What? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, at least he's not older than you because. That would have been Aggie and they have those a lot. My niece is older than my sister. So we're gonna leave that there. For two of her aunts, she's older than. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna leave that one there. I don't know what the fuck my father was doing in fact, but he need to stop. Um, but <laughs> we talked about that too. Speak it. Oh, Jesus. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. We we reconvene. But a lot of y'all out here listening to this probably have children. Mm. Listen. I'm not going to say it's too late. It's never too late. But y'all need to open up these lines of communication. Like, don't think telling your child, don't have sex, don't have sex, don't have sex, don't have sex, is going to make them not want to have sex. They're going to be like, why are you telling me not to do so bad? What's so what's, great what's about not, it? What's great about it? Or what's, and you know how it always is. You always you tell telling me not to do, not to do the they stuff do that they want to do that feels good to them. So you already know how that's going to mm-hmm. I'm not about to even play and be like, don't even mm-hmm. think about doing it. I'm about to tell you this. Don't you bring no are, I'm, gonna, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna say this: You're young. There's no rush on it. It did it. It is there, and it will always be there. I'm However, gonna... if you do decide you want to take your black ass and go do whatever that is, hey, let me tell you what you're not gonna do. Pull out the little care package. <laughs> I will have a care package. I'm not playing, yeah, and I, and I need a little. I need everything in it. I need yeah. condoms. I don't care. Like I need. Flavor, unflavored. I need lube, skin. whatever. Need like lamp skin. I need yeah. all of this stuff. Like if you do decide, please take this. And I don't want to hear no excuses about yeah. nothing. There should be no because I'm doing this. I'm not saying go ahead and do it, but I'm saying if you if are, because you, 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 you at safe. this point, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna handcuff you to the house. Like I'm not exactly. gonna handcuff you inside. 
And that's the thing that I'm so nervous about with my poor, with my poor niece. Like, granted, right she's in love with this boy. She's like, nothing's happening. We're not. We're gonna be together forever. We're getting married. And I'm like, girl, okay. Um, How old is she again? Seventeen. Aww. Yeah, I'm like, God, I was there too. I felt the same way. I mean, cool. you know, it, it can happen. You however, know. I know. But um, I'm thinking from a, you know, I felt that way at one point too. About statistics someone. show. Let me stop. <laughs> You know, go you. You about to go to college however many hours away. Child, statistics show. And this is why I'm like, like I tiptoe around it because at the end of the day, it's not my place to step Correct. over my brother and go into his household and tell his child what to and what not to do with her body as opposed to what they've been teaching her. Correct. Right? So there's that aspect. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want you to be out here ignorant. Like the girl didn't even know nothing about lube. And I'm like, girl... Girl, you can't be trying to fuck nobody. I'm you don't sorry. Know. What you mean she don't know about Lou? <sighs> like she don't know what it is? Like she knows now. But So she know, wasn't aware what Lou was? Lubric- no, it, Lubric- it was not a thought in her mind. It was not a, an idea to be like... But that don't have to be in your mind if you don't know what Lou is. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Because... When I say shelter, like I said, she can't even go on safari on her phone. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I, I always use the Coca-Cola shaking reference, right? You all of these things going on in your child and their 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 education, their knowledge is being stunted. All of this is going on. You send them off to college somewhere where you're not. And what do you think is gonna happen? That can't open. That shit is all over the place. Like you don't know, you know, granted, I have faith that, you know, she no pun intended, that she might stay on the same path, like the same righteous path and not go too far off course. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy that I'm a person that she can actually talk to Mm -hmm. without a filter. Sis don't have to have you as an outlet and stuff. Exactly. She'd be talking to me and I'd be like, oh my God, you are my niece and you are a child. Right. But then I think about it, when I was your age... I understand that. You know what I'm saying? When I was your age... I wish I had a family member that was older that I can talk to. Thankfully, I had my brother. Me and him would just cut up and just talk shit together. You know what I'm saying? But she's the oldest of her siblings, and she can't go to them and talk to them about whatever she's going on with. So I'm basically like the next step in the family that she can talk to, which I'm very like, I hold that very dear to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So her coming to me and talking to me about this stuff, and she feels comfortable enough to talk to me, and I even told her, I said, listen, hey, delete your motherfucking thread, because I'll cuss my brother out quick. Don't don't make no man come text me about what I can and can't talk to my niece about. I don't care if it is your child. Like, don't make me have to cuss you out. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I know I can't tell somebody else how to raise their children. But I do know that it's not okay for you to shelter your child from things that are natural. Facts. No matter how much God you teach somebody, desires are still there. Like, it's natural. Puberty happens. You start growing little titties. You start having your period. <laughs> your body is changing. You're growing little titties. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, went from, I, was, I went from no chest to chest. <laughs> so I don't know about no little titties. Big I never I I never, titties. I never, had no little titties. Yeah, neither did I, sadly. Like, I had, like, you know, whatever. We're not going to go through that. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, things happen. Hormones are developing. Like, you start getting a little tingling sensation. You have a boyfriend. Like, mm-hmm. you don't think that, you know, they out here pop kissing here and there. A little something, something that's home. You know? A little fire mics. You need to talk to your children about this. The way you just did that. Yeah, a little, yeah, you know? <laughs> you know, two twigs rubbing together, cause a little fire. Something might happen. But If y'all don't get her the <laughs> fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> thankfully, though, you know, they, they've had conversations about it. And they are still deciding to wait. Which I'm just like, well, y'all are good. Because I was a little fatty. But y'all are good. You know what I'm saying? So some of that is sticky, but you still need to talk to them because they still need to have the knowledge of what happens. Okay, yes, you have sex. Babies come. STDs come. But just like the other day, I posted a picture of a soft cup. And I'm like, a lot of y'all out here is, like, a lot of women are out here having sex with men and don't know the difference between what a diaphragm is and what a menstrual cup is. Bitch, don't get me started. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, I'm pulling out a whole care package. Bitch, we gonna have (laughs) condoms, we gonna have diaphragms, we gonna have menstrual cups, we gonna have freaking tampons and panty liners and pads, we doing... Like, I just... We're doing demonstrations. Right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the whole con- um, dildo thing though. Like that's that's that was steep for me. 
They have dildos in the school with the children. Zidani said it was a dildo, and that's that's my child. She ain't lying. <laughs> I know she's not lying, but she's you know that little mother effort that she ain't, she don't play. She was like they gave us a dildo, and and she did not. She ain't no no kind of nothing. She don't. Oh my gosh! I was like, oh my gosh, that was me. Mm-hmm. I have so I I calm down. I think my sister worries about her because she's very like out there, like she, and she don't. If she don't like you, she gonna you tell know. you that she don't like you. Or you gonna know it. Like she don't f around. Like, and I love it for her. Me personally, I hope she stays that way mm. as a form of like mm-hmm. being assertive and self aware. Yes, I'm here for it. Yeah, that was me. But you know, I chiseled down because mo. <laughs> you know, as you get older, mo gotta yeah. you gotta act like you got some sense. I was gonna say, I don't know if I told you about her and what happened. <clears throat> you remember we were talking about R. Kelly a few weeks back and um, so in school she was arguing with some boy, some little boy oh boy! and she called the little boy a bitch which he probably was I'm sure because yes. she ain't just about to call him no bitch and then he had the nerve to say to my niece I should rape you like R. Kelly excuse me? he's still alive? Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I can't really dis- I can't I can't really discuss if he's alive or not. I I don't really Okay, so we're not gonna talk about this on air. Exactly. But yeah, he said that and yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what's worse. Hearing that your niece is being threatened to be raped, or hearing that my niece is dealing with racism in fucking 2019. Like blatant racism. Like, they are calling this girl's boyfriend a nigger lover. Nigger lover, you're fucking lying. Like, driving by while they're walking together, calling what? this boy a whole nigger lover. Kids their age. Get the fuck out of here. When I say it almost made me cry, and I was like, yo, you dealing with this? What? You really out here dealing with this. And I'm like, yo, I could never see myself living in a predominantly white neighborhood for my children to be going to a predominantly white student. Y'all need to be around some niggas. Like, you need to be self-aware of yeah. who you are as a black person. Because I don't give a fuck all, how great the education is. At all is. times. You need, bruh. We and always, I, we always on guard. I told her, I said, you lucky you didn't raise, you wasn't raised around me. Because you would have been quick with the comeback. Mm-hmm. Bitch, yep, and your daddy liked me too, ho. I'd have been quick <laughs> with it. He a nigga loving, so is your daddy. Okay. So. Okay. Like, Look, that wouldn't have wanted me. What? All of that. You think my child can come home and tell me that somebody called her boyfriend a nigga lover and I don't go raise hell somewhere? That's my mother talking. <laughs> that's Yeah, that's her. For real. That's my mother talking. Like that when she told me that, like I put my phone out for like ten minutes. I was just like, How? Like I told her I said, You gonna go to a historically black college at the university? <laughs> like She not? She's not. But she should. Was, she should have. Oh. Child, I was just like, yo, you know what? Come hang out with me for a week or something. Like, you know, let y'all going to Jamaica. I'm coming too. Let me come teeth you away, come take you out, and go have some fun. Because I know y'all gonna end up in somebody resort with more white people, and I just, I cannot. Like, black children need to be raised about, around black children. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody want to say. I feel like black people mm-hmm. should be raised with black people. If you want to take your children and send them off somewhere else to get a quote-unquote better education, that's fine and dandy. But what are you sacrificing? What is your child giving up? Right. Like, what is your child dealing with for this better education? You know what I'm saying? Like, think about shit like that. Okay, yeah, that school looks good on a resume, but... Um, is your child mentally okay? Facts. Are they secure within themselves? Do they feel like they don't want to be black? Do they feel like they hate themselves? Like... I, I'm sorry. I'm saying this now, and I'm hoping I stick to this as mm-hmm. you know years go by because I know people change. Because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they didn't think this way when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? Something changed along the lines. But I listen. I love being black too fucking much. I can't. I'm sorry. I really just cannot. And I'm not saying this to be offensive to anybody in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. But as a person, like especially being Jamaican, like. My child will have to speak Patois and understand Patois and be fully submerged in Jamaican culture. Facts are. Like, <laughs> before we even get to being black, like, we are Jamaican. 
that's a I'm not really sure who my what, you know. Okay. Anyway, so let me just let me shut my ass up. Anyway, yeah, let me you know, okay, but I'm sure my wife is gonna know that. We are Jamaicans. Look, ain't no look, mm mm. You gonna know look, you gonna know about all of this. You gonna soak up all of this? <laughs> Don't even know two good dance songs. Oh look! Oh look! Oh look! Oh look! You ain't even gotta worry. Don't stress me out till I'm old age. I got you with the music because you wanna be in the womb listening to Barris. Boom. You, I'm about to go send this nigga some fucking Spotify playlist because I saw she had Spotify on her phone. I'm dead. Because I, you, you can listen to, I'm pretty sure you know parental controls on Spotify. Because Facts. Travis Scott. So, um, we're going to send you some playlists because I cannot be <laughs> You better get your ears acclimated because if you, we spend any kind of time together, you're going to hear some fucking dance all over. Facts. So, let's get it together. I just, you know. I mean, she's a straight-A student. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's not pregnant in high school. No shaming on anybody. But, you know, whew, the things we give up for the things we want. That's, mm-hmm. that's, just make sure your, your priorities are in line. That's all I really got to say about that. Um, we done went way off topic. Um, <laughs> bring, bring us back here. We're listening. We didn't bring it back much of shit. You, um, you hear some cartel coming out soon? I heard that. I saw it on Star. I don't know if I believe it. Mm. That's that. Free real boss. <laughs> Always. Just free him. For sure. those of you in the South Florida area, I am doing a quick, quick flyer promotion. Nobody didn't pay me. I just saw it and I thought I should share the word. Um, viciousness and the LGBT community, right? There's an engaging dialogue on acts of violence and how to overcome them. Conversation is happening on Tuesday, February 26th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Broward House. If you are in the South Florida area, you know where Wilton Manors is. It is in Wilton Manors. 2800 North Andrews Avenue, Wilton Manors, 33311. All right? This is Tuesday, February 26th, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. The two-hour thing. It is free entry, free refreshment. I can't talk. So <laughs> slide through. I'm not going to promise that I will be there. But if anyone is interested in going and sitting and listening and participating, there is that. You have anything else you want to throw in there? Me? You know, I don't know. I'm chilling, you know. Um... Y'all know, follow me on all those things. Uh-oh. That's it for right now, I guess. What is it? Instagram? Yo, I be forgetting my own shit sometimes. Y'all gotta forgive me. Instagram. <laughs> getting oh, old. My Instagram, damn sugar underscore. Yep. And then Twitter is at Lion Young V. I saw. Damn, I can't remember none of my things, yeah, y'all. The young lion backwards. Yeah, the young lion backwards, you know, young lion and such. No. But um, yeah, man, that's about it. I mean, you know, I'm chilling. Etc. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, just like every other week, if you got any poetry, short stories, any of that stuff you want to share, I don't have a poem this week. Calm down. Um, please feel free to submit them to askpointless at gmail.com. It's A S K P O I N T L E S S S at gmail.com. Don't forget to listen, like, share, subscribe. The Pointless Talks podcast is on all of the fun things. Uh, tune in iCloud. iCloud. Wow, Janae, I need to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> all the social media outlets, all the streaming. I'm going to bring in a poem for next time. Oh, okay. Um, tune in Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Google Play Music, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, iHeartRadio, all of them. It's pointless talks on every single one of those things. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars, leave in a bad mind feelings them to in itself. Mm-hmm. And whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Good night, y'all. Yeah.